Love cannot be bought by money. But money can buy anything. But money can buy anything. Can buy anything. Well, except for love. Thank you, So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very pleasant afternoon. Ah, yes, very. We want to this cool hall. So today, I'll be talking about Chinese biggest money, money investing. How to Money investing way. So what is it? It's called what the Bad Rock Initiative, or it's called by. BRI. Uh. What is the BRI? BRI is the is one of the Chinese initiatives <coughs> to, to grow their uh, to grow the economic uh, the economy well. So how they started? It started during the, the late 80s when the Chinese started to make money using the Silk Road the Silk Road Initiative. It's called, it's called as the SRI. But the SRI, the SRI was failed because the cost of the Americans using their own, own <coughs> economic building. So the economics, uh, the economics failed during the late 80s. But uh, the, the Korean Prime Minister, uh, Jin Chong Ping, I believe, uh, this, created this initiative by calling it the BRI, which is called the Belt, the Belt Road Initiative. So, oh, why, that road. so why does the Belt Road Initiative that actually? So the Belt Road Initiative is actually uh, using as the uh, way of investing money to other to other countries such as African countries and also Asian countries. One of the Asian countries that are already receiving these kinds of uh, initiative are uh, Malaysia. Malaysia, as we know, that we are doing a lot of uh, mega projects. We are doing a lot. They are doing a lot of mega projects such as the ECRL and many more to, to speak to speak about. But with the help of but we are short in funds, we are short in money. So with the help of Chinese Build Barrow Initiative, we are, able, we are able to make these things a reality. We are, uh, we are currently doing almost 10% of the of the building of this ECRL uh, project during the, the late 2017, before the PRQ 14 started and cancelled this, this project because of some uh, funding, uh, because of some funds, uh, fund pro problems. So funding uh, issues. Funding issues. So what are the countries that are also uh, involved in this BRI initiative? One of the countries that are most key to do to uh, to do this initiative is Sudan, Turkey, and so on, so forth. Uh -huh. So these countries actually uh, give money or ask money from China to make their own to make your own country more uh, more more richer and more stable country because most countries in Africa are having Africa Africa are having economic issues they are having economy breakdowns they are, they are under, underdeveloped so when they when they have under, underdeveloped countries they need money to make their to make their country richer so they, they develop some places to make to make shores to make some uh, places to be as a uh, trading center in their in the countries. So one of the initiatives that China, China does, China gives money to these countries. So what do they do? They ask them to pay their to pay their uh, to pay their funds, to pay their, all their investment that they, they, they uh, sold to other countries. For example, Sudan. During the during the 2000, during 2010, China has already given a, a lot of funding. For example, during 2010, they already gave uh, about 1.5 billion billion dollars. To Sudan to build uh, to build a um, port, uh, a port in their in the country yeah. for trading. But eventually, during 2017, China has already uh, asked asked Sudan to pay to pay this uh, money. But Sudan doesn't have enough money to to give back the money. So what they do? The port was given back to China, and China has uh, control of uh, fully the 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 port right now. So, what does it for? What does this initiative actually do does to countries? So, actually, other countries are actually being controlled or being uh, co or being, what can I say, being controlled by, by China because they, they use money to give money to other people and ask them to pay back more than, than, more than they borrow or, or we call it as interest. Yeah, that's right. So, it comes an issue when China gives this money to other countries such as African countries 
African countries around the world because they are underdeveloped. Underdeveloped countries have not, do not have any money to give, uh, to pay back their, uh, to give back their money, to give back their, to pay back their debt, and so on. So when they don't have money to pay, when they don't have money, so when they don't have any money, when they don't have any money, when they don't have any money, they don't have any money to pay their debt, uh, their debt, 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 uh, be sorry, pay their debt. So what happens is that they have to give their uh, some of their land to give some of their uh, most highest high development in their country to China in order to pay their to pay all their uh, to pay all their uh, debt and so on. So in conclusion, I urge all of you to aware of Chinese new threat on the BRI initiative to make sure a country is safe for any kind of debt that we are having right now. So it's uh, like with CRL and other more major maker projects, let us not. Uh, help. Let us stop. Let us not uh, ask China for money in order for us to not have a lot of debt in the future. Thank you.